an English um, coach after three wins at home. How can the team carry that mo winning momentum into Saturday and earn three points on the road? Yeah, it's, it is important just to make sure that you know, we, we continue our work goal our goal is to make sure that this year this season our team uh, improves in, in everything that we game by game we need to uh, find the way to, to bond and click uh, as a team uh, in all aspects uh, so we know that we still have a lot of room to improve we need to continue working and obviously it's our first match away. Um, we are waiting to see how can we perform when we perform away. Hopefully we don't change that, that our idea, our goal as a staff and uh, what we've been telling the players is that we, we cannot be changing. So hopefully we can perform that way and uh, but it's a test that we we don't know yet the answer. So hopefully we can have an answer, a positive answer after the game. What do you like so far that you've seen from these first three games of your team? Because obviously it was a little bit unknown what we were going into, what we were going to see from this team, the new players, the old players, and how they would mesh together. Uh, yes, I think we are coming along together very well. We're we're becoming more friends, more automatic, more collective as a team, more than individual team. So we don't rely on the individualities, but, but we rely on the collectively uh, working function of the team, which individually we have players that can make the difference. But at the end, what we are looking to have is a very solid team. And uh, that's the most important. So. That's our goal, that's our focus, and that's why we need to continue working on that. Coach, uh, good afternoon. I got to ask you, you know, you're going into El Paso, a team that plays on a baseball field. How do you adjust your practices for this week to try to get your, your team playing the way it has been for these last three games and taking this show on the road now? Yes, obviously the, the, the dimensions are different and the stadium field, like our stadium field uh, is different than their baseball field that is used to play uh, soccer on it. So uh, yeah, we, we, we're gonna try to, you know, shorten the spaces and make that feel a little bit smaller than our field so we can get used to the size and understand that, you know, we have to make sure that in less space, less distance, less length, we're gonna be, we need to be able to perform, to move the ball and to um, have that, uh, the possibility to keep the possession and the style that we, we are used to so far right now at our home. The last one I wanted to ask you coach was, um, how how do you see the functionality of this team right now? You, we've seen three different uh, three different lineups with the different de defensive uh, mixes. Uh, how how does that change for you uh, going into this next game now that you're starting to have a little bit more of a player selection availability to you? Well, the the idea from the beginning was to have. We're trying to make sure that all the players fit into our system, fit into what we want from them uh, individually, and that when someone has to go in, the team doesn't change. That's why it's so important to have those players, to work with them, to, to play them, to give them the confidence to play. So I think so far it's been working well. Even though we've been having changes, we've been doing some changes for different reasons. But when the team changes, it doesn't affect the function of the team. Uh, it's just individualities that change their style, individual style. But 
they're bringing what they need to bring for the team uh, with the same intensity and, and quality. So, uh, so far it's, it's getting, it's, it's good, but we need to continue working on that. We need to continue adapting. We, we are, we, we have right now uh, 29 games to play. So that's a lot of games.